You're watching Chewing the Cut with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Room. Hello everyone. Mike, what are you doing down there? What are you doing? Nothing. Smell it, it smells weird. No. Dirty Sanchez. Sanchez. <laughs> that's what it's called. It's a TV show, isn't it? But that's what it is. A dirty Sanchez is when you stick your finger down your butt crack. Uh -huh. And then you wipe it across somebody's face. That's not what I was doing. It's not butt crack. Well, no, your mouth's not your butt crack. Could might as no, well. No, but this isn't butt crack smell. No, but I want to smell it irony anyway. Okay. Well, this week from the web, I'm bringing you a story about a streaming site that's being turned off. And I have the showbiz news about what a sex toy and a beetle have in common. Not forgetting Mike has another instalment of that science, that is. And on screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep. At the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us, the TV for our website and on YouTube and the podcast service. Look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. Remember to message or comment while you're there. Mike, breaking news. Surely <laughs> Sylvia swims, shrieked surprised Sammy the selfish shellfish. Someone should show Sylvia some strokes so she shall not sink. But now we segue into something sinister. While something in a 30-acre thick thicket of thorns and thistles thumped and thundered threatening the therapeutic thoughts of Theo the Thug, although theoretically it was only the 13,000 thistles and thorns through the thickness of his thigh that the 30-year-old thug thought of that Thursday. But what am I asking is, what's the difference between pink and purple? The strength of your grip. Speaking of things with a limp grip, the producer can't be with us today as he's retraining in the world of aviation. It's been an ambition of his for a while, as he likes to get people high as he can before adjusting the flaps, applying full thrust, and giving them a ride they won't forget. So please place your chairs in an upright position, store your bags under the seats and fasten your seat belts. Sit back and enjoy the onboard entertainment. Well, the actual Language, Lee, language. Is that, is that your way of introducing the... Game of the Week. This week, it's Mike's turn to make a fool of himself. So off you go to our special performance area. I shouldn't mention special areas as it triggers his anxiety. Off you pop. Today, we are playing a brand new game called What's Another Word for Synonym? Our state-of-the-art random word generator has been programmed to provide Mike with some random words and all he has to do is describe the word to me without mentioning the word itself. Are you ready, Mike? I am ready, willing and somewhat able. The first one. Okay. You take me to bed at night when you need to be snugly warm. A hot water bottle. A hot water bottle, yes, well done. Oh. How, how, how? It's, it's another nickname for putting um, a gentleman's member in your mouth. Another nickname? Ooh. Yeah, can I have another clue, please? You can indeed. Um, you can buy it in tubes. In tubes? Sausage? No. Would you like another clue? Yes, I think that would help. Okay. You get it from sunlight. Get it from sunlight and it comes in tubes. Ooh. Sucking on D? No, not quite. So it's, a, so it's not O. Right, okay. Is it vitamin D? It is vitamin D. Well oh, done. Okay. I didn't know that was another word for giving a blowy. Yeah, getting some vitamin D. Oh, okay. I didn't... Yeah, okay. Well, from what I can remember. Okay, brace yourself for this one. Mm-hmm. They normally smell like urine. They normally smell like urine? Some people's bellends. No. No. Next clue. Yes, please. Some people put their business cards in there. 
It smells like urine. Oh. Is it a public toilet, Mike? It's not a public toilet, no. Oh. Um. Oh, no, you don't get another guess. Oh, do I, do, do right, I not I have get another to, guess? I have to get another clue first. All oh, right, can I have another clue? Okay. Your friends used to use them before mobile phones. A public telephone box. Mike. It's a public telephone box, yes. Oh. Well done, young man. Well, Lee. I obviously frequented toilets more than phone boxes. R really? And what for? What would you do in those those toilets? Public convenience, shall we say? I always I, I have a very weak bladder. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very weak gland reflex. The next one. Okay. It's a ship. It's a strip. A ship. A ship. A ship. <sighs> the Titanic. No. no. It is also a TV show. A ship and a TV show. Mm. Can I have another clue, please? I'm, I'm not quite... You can have another clue. Elephants aren't allowed on here anymore. A ship, a TV show, and elephants aren't allowed on there anymore? Uh-huh. I'm going to have to have another clue. I can't... Yeah. The last clue, down ship. Blue Peter. It is Blue Peter, yes. Oh, that makes sense now. <laughs> the monarch was drunk. The monarch was drunk. No. We are not amused. Is it, Pri is it Prince Philip's wake? No. No. No, I'll, I'll need another clue. Okay. Um, it's very moist. No. There's no answer that is safe to say <laughs> could be broadcastable. Not in this country. Not from this country. It's cake. Not amused. You said it was cake. <laughs> you said it was cake. When did I say it moist. was cake? No, I said it was moist. I didn't say it was cake. Oh. <laughs> moist, not from this country. Uh-huh. A monarch fallen down. And we are not amused. Prince, Al Prince Albert. Oh, close Victoria Falls. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's have another one then. Victoria Falls. <laughs> That's some geography. It's out of this world. This show. No. No. Go for another clue. When it's finished being used, it will burn. Out of this world, when it's finished being used, it will burn. Cystitis. No. <laughs> Let's have another clue then. It's, it's had a peak inside it. <sighs> the Hadron Collider. No. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> uh, a final clue. And the final clue is, you would weigh nothing there. The moon. No, the International <sighs> Space Station. Oh, okay. Well, can we just have one last one, Mike? Yes, okay. I'm going to get in your bins. A rat. Nope. <laughs> you don't want to hear me making love. In the bins. No, we're getting your bins and you don't want to hear me making love. Like stray cats. Nope. No. No. Nope. <laughs> I'll get into your chickens. An older homosexual. No. Nope. No. No. Oh, let's... Last clue. <laughs> boom, boom. At the risk of repeating myself, older homosexual. But I'm going to go for a fox. A fox, correct. Wow. Oh. That was great. I enjoyed myself. You always do, Mike. You always do. Still to come, we have that science, that is. Just after the break, we have Lee and the showbiz.
You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's see what delightful delectations we have as Lee brings us the showbiz news. What showbiz would you like to hear today, Mike? Some that you've prepared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so shall we? Oh, okay, that's awkward. Um, <laughs> Let's just check out about something you know about just them. Just general stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Princess Diana. Oh, Di? Yeah. Lady Di. Queen of our hearts. Eh, Was she? No. I'm not sure. Mm. Anyway, past couple of weeks, mm. we've had the um, revelation. Revelation? Is that even a word? It revelation? is now. Reveal. Reveal. Yeah. Asian. Revelation. Revelation. Reve well, yeah. So we've had the statue of <laughs> <Yeah>. Diana <laughs> has been revealed. On her 60th birthday, no less. On her 60th birthday, yeah. So um, uh, well, her boy. It the 60th birthday, not an actual. Not an actual. It wasn't a birthday party. No. <laughs> it, it, would, it was revealed when it would have been her 60th birthday. Yeah. So um, Wills and Harry mm -hmm. have revealed the statue. We've got a picture of them here. They're, they're just pulling the sheet off it. So there's a picture of it here as it's revealed. Mm -hmm. So it's her with three children. There's another child around this side you can't right, see. Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, people are either loving it or not loving it. Yeah, th th we've, got a, we've got a rear view of it here, which looks, looks lovely yeah. from the rear view. Um, it's quite often you say that though, isn't it? It, it is. It's, Do it, enjoy a rear view. Yeah, it? yeah. The guy who made it, who designed it, mm -hmm. is, is a guy called uh, Rank Broadley. Okay. And he, um, he is called Rank Broadly. That's okay. I'll just keep talking. because He is called Rank Broadly. He, he is, but his name sounds like he could have do something yeah, in a yeah, wide way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he, he also designed the coins that we have now with the Queen's, he Queen's head on them. Okay. Which, um, so it does good with 2D things, just not necessarily. Not with 3D. Yeah, so some people really like it. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't. So we put it on our social media. To see what we reaction. Did, yes. So we've got we've got some quotes here from from people responding. So the first one looks nothing like what Diana used to resemble. Did they design it in the dark? The same sculpts did the Queen design on the coins nineteen ninety eight slash nine, which were fairly accurate. So what happened here was, <laughs> what happened here, was he drinking on the job or something? Alan Talbot. Yeah. Um, he said, a little bland for such a colourful lady. Why, why did it not contain her two sons? So Pauline Swinbank, no smile on Diana's face. Which is true. Yeah, well, She smiled all the time. Well, well she didn't. She did not a lot all of smizing. the time. Smizing. But when she was out and about meeting the public... Yeah, she smiled then. She smiled a lot. When she was like, t talking to kids, she wasn't necessarily looking at them smiling. No, it depends on what the situation was. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so uh, would you go and see it? No. Would you not go and pay your respects? No. Okay. I, I have something very beautiful that I own personally myself uh -huh. that, that reminds me very much of Diane. I'm going to go in the cupboard, Mike. Now, now, when you say beautiful, it always worries me. <laughs> it, it is beautiful. It's so, a box. Oh, it's how a box. pretty. It's a box, okay. And inside the little box... I can't believe you're getting your box out on TV. Look. It's a... <laughs> don't you, don't you, don't you mock it. It's a replica of Diana on her wedding day. <gasps> Have you just put your hands... On her legs, because otherwise... Where <laughs> just else? put your hand up a tight skirt. I'm sorry, I'll put it around her waist instead. <laughs> what do we think? That's a better likeness than that statue. Why do you own this? Because it's beautiful. It's hideous. It's beautiful. It's a piece of history. Is that an official one? No. Okay. No, no. So I, don't actually, it, no I don't think that makes it better. No, you can <laughs> put the veil over and everything. Do, 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 why, do, why has she got lilies? Because that was the flowers that she held, held. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. And she's got the blue spot on her hand. Yeah, she's got... She's, she's, she's got the e e e e e e e hand and um, everything. She's got a wanking hand. <laughs> Can neither confirm nor deny that. And the train and everything. Ooh, do, do, play with this for hours. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. I think she might go on our shelf. I don't think she will. She's going to. She is. There's no room. With some little play people, children around her. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, moving on. Moving on. Um, are you a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants? He, what, he lives in the pineapple under the sea? Yeah. yeah. 
No. Okay. Well, you'll not be interested <laughs> in this then. So his his best bud, Patrick Starr, is getting his own show. Yeah, you're amazed by that. Patrick is getting his own show. Patrick is getting his own show. It's um it's called the Patrick Starr Show. Well, that's his name, so that makes that's sense. His name. Yeah. yeah, and it's going to be on Nickelodeon. Okay. We've got a picture here of SpongeBob and Patrick together. Okay. Looking a little bit fey, looking a bit camp. Looking a bit fey. Because <laughs> SpongeBob Squarepants is, the, is a hyper masculine young gentleman. He's, ma yeah, do you know what? I might have one in my cupboard. Oh. Just hang on. You gave him a cupboard. <laughs> oh, hello! Yeah. He's there! He is there! He speaks, listen. Ready, set, go! Yeah. All right, okay. Tough audience. So yeah, he's getting his he's getting his own show, and it's a family sitcom about his family. So Patrick, Patrick Patrick's family, not SpongeBob, not SpongeBob. SpongeBob okay. isn't in it. So so this gentleman that you brought into the show, yeah, isn't in the show. No, but because I couldn't find a Patrick um, doll. But you know, so th this is this is kind of like the poster for the show. Okay, um, he's going to have so his mum and dad. His little sister is called Squidina. Mm. His mum is called Bunny, okay. and his dad is called Cecil, and then there's his granddad who's called Grand Pat. Okay, I have a feeling that um, his sister might be adopted. Why? Because she's a squid. <laughs> and they're starfish. Y yeah, but it's Cartoon World, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. It doesn't, because in Scooby-Doo, you know, that Scooby-Doo was a dog. <laughs> Scooby-Doo was a dog, you're right. Indeed. And was related to another dog. That was never confirmed nor denied. What, his nephew? But he talked. Happy to. So he did talk. He did, so that, but dogs don't talk. You can't, if you unpick that, Mike, you unpick the, the fabric of the universe, so don't, let's not go down that route. Die-hard fans of Spongebob mm. have, have pointed out that this is not new. So this is what his mum and dad <laughs> look like. Many years ago, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> His dad looks like a sex toy. <laughs> it does, yeah. Um, and then, then Squidina. Uh huh. We've got a picture of Squidina. Yeah, I, I, I will be watching it because I like, I like a bit of cartoonage. Cartoonage. Yeah. yeah. That's the new word. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's coming out soon. Okay. Okay. Last bit of showbiz news. Would you ever put? A beetle, as in of the pop group The Beatles, mm. and sex toys together. Well, there was that rumoured one night with John Lennon, but... Oh, okay. Well, be so there's only two of them left now, isn't there? Yeah. There's Ringo mm -hmm. and the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the other one? Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Not a big fan. Yeah. Uh, we've um, got a picture of him here in their heyday. Mm -hmm. So Ringo's at the front. Um, Paul's at the back. Then there's John uh, to the side. Yeah. And then there's the other one to the other side, who was called um, Bob. What was he called, Mike? George Harrison. George Harrison. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ringo Starr, right, has been battling for years in, in the, the courts, mm. um, a court battle over a sex toy brand. Okay. Okay. Called called Ringo. Ring O. I, I, I got I got, you got Ringo. Yeah, 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 I yeah. got Ringo. Yeah. So he's he's so so oh, that's Ringo Star now. Uh-huh. And that is the brand of sexual pleasures. Well, they they look like cock rings. I wasn't gonna be as so coarse as that. Um but yeah, so he he has said, I'm not happy. Because people... <laughs> he's not got his coat on. <laughs> That's why. Because <laughs> he's not using them. His little fella's gone limp. That's he's, why he's, he's not using them. So it's been going on for three years. Okay. And he's he said that, you know, I don't like this because people assume that it's my company. I don't think anyone's assumed I don't think that. anybody cares. So um, finally they've had a happy ending to it all. Oh, hey. Do you see what I, I did there? I did there. Yeah. So now that, what they've, what they've done is they have... Um, Agreed that the O will mm. be um, further apart from the ring. Which is how it should be. Which is how it should your, be. Your O should always yeah. be a good distance from your ring. Yeah, but do you know what? Guess what? What? I've got one. Who gave him a cupboard? <laughs> <laughs>
Slightly disappointed when it arrived, Mike. Okay. I have to say, because it's teeny tiny. Okay. This is, this is, this is, well, this is not a Ringo. This is a Lingo. A Lingo. A Lingo. Okay. So it is a vibrating tongue ring. Okay. So from what I understand. You would put that on your tongue and then perform an act of oral pleasure. Yeah, but it's quite else. small. Well, you, your tongue's not that big. So pop it on your tongue and turn it on. I don't know which way. To come with instructions. Is it under, no, at the top? It's like a, hang on. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you pop, you pop the, the pop the big bit goes at the top of your tongue. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then you turn it on. <laughs> oh! And, and you finished. <laughs> and I've come. So yeah, that's that. Yeah. That well, that, that, that wouldn't you. stay on your tongue for long. It really, really vibrates. <laughs> Gotta to touch it, Mike. No, it's been it's in my mouth. mouth no. <laughs> So anybody out uh, watching, watch, if you would like to buy <laughs> Lee's used lingo, my used <laughs> lingo um, you could probably get that round your shaft as well, I would say. No. Nah. No? And that is the end of this week's Showbiz News. Thank you, Lee. Coming soon, we have that science, that is. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. You're watching Lee and Mike. Now it's time to go over to Mike in the buzz. Push your lips at me. Would you like a buzz? Would you like a buzz? I've got a lingo. I, I'm okay without a lingo, thank you. Okay. I can vibrate all on my own. I've been having a bit of a, 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 a perusal of the internet this week. Nice one. Yeah. Um, first story is about El Pape. El Papa? Yeah. The Pope. Oh, okay. The Pope, you know, man, Vatican City, old guy. In yeah. the white dress. Lots of white, red shoes. Does he wear red shoes? Red shoes, yeah, Pope wears red shoes. No, he doesn't. The Pope wears red shoes. Does he? Yeah. Sequined? Not sequined, just red. Oh, not anyway. interested. Um, but this is a story about um, Pope Francis, who's invited trans people to the Vatican to get <sighs> COVID vaccines. Oh, okay. okay. Um, because in Italy, the healthcare system is such... Um, that if you are mid-transition, you're not actually covered by the healthcare system. Oh, wow. Um, and so the Pope's turned around to them and said, come here for your vaccines then. Personally himself? No, but he sent out, he sent out people. He didn't go out in his little wagon. Um, <laughs> because, in his Pope-mobile? In his Pope-mobile, yeah. Because Vatican City is a completely separate country. Is it? Yeah. I've been there. You've been, I've been there too. Yeah. I've been around his little garden. I didn't go inside. Because I, I would have set a flame. <laughs> I did. I went inside. I was fine. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, but it wasn't just trans people. He invited basically anybody that couldn't get the vaccine oh. into Vatican City. He said, come and we'll pay for it. And so they were going in, getting jabbed first and second. At the same time? No, no, just with the distance. Oh, right, okay. So he's like, well, come back and I'll give you the second jab as well. And oh. Was, he, was, he, was he giving them? He wasn't giving them himself, but he oh. was He was present. He was present. He was present, yes. Just like on a plinth. <laughs> on a plinth. <laughs> Not on a cake stand turning around. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> like a music box. Yes. Do, 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 do. He was doing that thing from, yeah. from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. But okay. Can you see? <laughs> it's the Pope, I'm here. Um, <laughs> where, so did they do it inside the Vatican or in that big space in front of the Vatican? No, inside the Vatican. Inside, inside the Vatican. The Vatican. Yeah. Vatican. It's, a, it's a big place. It is. Yeah. Yeah, but that's good. <laughs> it is good, yeah. Yeah. Um, especially considering that, you know, church is sort of like, shall we say, dogmatic views. Mm. Not always the best, but it's really a big step forward. You know, like a couple of episodes ago, you were talking about how different places were giving people free things to go and get their inoculation. Yeah. Like beer and stuff. And like spliffs. beer and spliffs, yeah. What, yeah. Was he giving out away? Um, just, just getting done in. Done in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just getting done in the Vatican. Getting done in the Vatican. Getting done in the Vatican. It won't be the first time that's happened. Really? Mm. What are you been furry then, Lee? I've seen his. I've seen his guards. I've seen his guards. Hello. Yes. There's something about a man in a puffy top. I don't know. What, oh what yeah, mean. and a feathered anyway. boa. <laughs> it wasn't, they don't wear a feather they boa. They do in their little little jaunty no, caps. That's just a feather. It's not well, a boa. Not a boa. <laughs> they don't walk around like. <laughs> 
like <laughs> it's like going, stop him, he's being naughty. Ooh. <laughs> in the sequin slippers. Yeah. Now that's a that's that's a religion I can get on board with. Uh, it's very niche mm. porn. Anyway, um, speaking of which, porn next, or the Pope? The porn. We've done the porn. We've done the Pope. We've now done the porn. Pope. Now we're on to porn. Yeah. Well, a specific streaming site. Okay. Okay. When you want to peruse your, your bottom bouncing. Which site do you use? I don't know any of them. I, I, don't, I, don't, do. I don't have to, to do that. You don't have to, but no. when you choose to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I don't know whether I should. Unless it's going to get me a free subscription. So just, just basically Netflix then? No, Pornhub. Pornhub? Because a lot of it's free. Uh -huh. Most of it is free. Uh -huh. With the adverts at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, the adverts. <laughs> the adverts, yeah. Is it Chatterbait? <laughs> Oh, also, I don't know. Oh, oh, I can't be doing with that. Yeah. Just show me the... Pornhub's sister site, yeah, okay. Xtube, is closing. Okay. It's closing its doors forever. I didn't know they were they were related. Well, they're all related, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, they're all one big porn ring. Big porn ring. Big porn ring. Like a prawn ring. Like a prawn ring. Ooh. Only not from Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, on the, in September, after 13 years. 13? 13 years. Oh, I'm lucky for some. Lucky, unlucky for, for XTube, yeah. Mm. But they're all the same videos, though, aren't they? They're, some of them are, are bespoke videos put up on different sites. Okay. Yeah, do you, do you have a subscription to this one as well? I don't have a subscription to any of them. Do you not? No. Can you get it for free? You can get it for free. How do you do that? <laughs> you just type in, you type in XTube. <laughs> yeah. Right, and hit enter. Yeah. Right, and then after September, nothing shows up. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's so, going to happen to all those porn actors, Mike? What's going to happen? Th they don't live in the site. <laughs> They're not, like, being kicked out of homes. Are they not, like, contracted to for, for, to places? No. Like Randy Blue. Is that is that is that a porn thing? It is a porn thing, yeah. yeah. And, um... Oh, I can't remember anymore. I can't remember anymore. Um, so they don't live on the website. No. They do the filming for the studio. They get the paid. Okay. And then the, the, they put it on the website. Okay. Yeah, so they're not going to have to go anywhere. They're just no. The videos will go somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So they're not deleting porn. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't, I don't really like XTube. It's it's very um, very advert heavy. Is it? Yeah. Uh, well, we have a comment to share. I don't know someone else found out about the, the okay. closing down. Which is um, from PBN Johnny, who put, Porn streaming sites aren't forever. It's no surprise that XTube is going down, uh, but porn will live on in any form. Porn finds a way. Porn has been around for centuries. It has. It... Ever since we could first take photos. Before that. Sketches. The, in the caves Etchings. of the cavemen, they, they do drew a pawns. They drew a pawn. They drew porn pictures. Okay. And the Egyptians did a bit of that on the hieroglyphics. <laughs> Things new. I was there. I know. He probably did the drawings. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Get me that big asp. I Ooh. said asp. Mummy porn. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to move on from, from mummy porn. <laughs> and this is news about, have you ever found something unexpected inside your person? Never. Never. Pretty You've always expected it to be there. <laughs> Pretty much aware of most things that are inside me. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is a story about a surgeon who's removed 27 contact lenses from a woman's eye. 27? 27 contact lenses from one eye. Oh, my God. Did she have, like, a periscope thing coming out of her <laughs> eyeball? Um, no. Um, they found... She found a hard mass in her eye. Um, so went to the opt opticians. Opticians. Optic opticians. <laughs> the, the eye opticians. doctor. The eye doctor. The ophthalmologist... Okay. Yeah. Um, who basically went, oh, let's have a look then. It might be cataracts. So started to did a bit of an investigation and found these 17 stuck together in a, in a lump, right, mm. which they removed and then found more and more as they were looking through her eye. They'd slipped around the back and it was... Oh! Uh! <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic! <laughs> what? Had she just been putting more on, more on? Yeah, she'd forgotten that she was putting them in. So she's 67. Well, she is 67. She's not dead. No, no, she's still with us. <laughs> yeah, she's still with us. 67-year-old um, thought it was just age that was making her go a bit blind and oh, right, the irritation okay. was just age. Did nobody stuff. explain to her that you need to take them out? She just forgot to take them out. She just forgot to take them out? Yeah. So, yeah. 
Is that the same with you and dildos? Oh, no, I'm, always, I'm purposefully leaving them in. Oh, okay. Yeah, the sideways. That's where you store them. Exactly, for the winter. Ooh. Um, to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and on YouTube, we are under Chewing the Cud. And now we go to Story of the Week. Now, this is... I, I've not gone for a Story of the Week. I've been a bit cheeky. Up here. When I've been looking through the internet, there's things that have caught my eye and made... and basically made me go... <laughs> bit of a titter. Titter. So I thought I'd share some titters with you. Oh, please do. Yeah. Um, so, fun things that you can do. Yeah? Do not try this at home, people, just before we get there. Um, and that's someone sharing what you can... what happens when you put a penny in a microwave. Oh, it shrinks. It shrinks. Um, and then Kate said, don't try this. My kitchen is currently in flames and my dad is shouting. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth it for the tiny penny. <laughs> tiny penny. That's not what happens, though. Is it not? Try Did it, Lee, and find out. No, I'm not going to try it. You try it at home, knowing that Kate's kitchen was on fire and her dad was shouting. But how did, did But did it shrink? It doesn't shrink, no. But she's got a tiny penny on her hand. It's a, it's a, it's a fake. Oh. <laughs> did you ever used to do um, the crisp packet under the grill? When you were a child. What's that? So you would get, eat your crisps mm -hmm. and then you would flatten your crisp packet, uh -huh. put it under the grill and it would uh -huh. go and shrink. Okay. And then you'd make key rings out of it. Okay. Yeah, you did. The... No, 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 no. You may have. <laughs> no, everybody did. did. It was a fad. Was it really? When was this a fad? Kind of like the, the sort of early 80s. Early 80s before I was born. Okay. Um, now, you mentioned the Beatles before. I did. Right. We've got a Beatles fact for you. Both surviving members are vegan, right? And the Kid Metro said, I might be bugging, but I don't think John Lennon died because he ate meat. No. It was a bullet. <laughs> it was a bullet. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's all I've got from the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. It's interesting to hear that people are still stupid. But after this quick break, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show that does learn you things in your brain. It's Mike in that science that is. That science that is. This week I'm going to be playing with your eyes. Oh. And touching your mind. Oh. Which I thought you'd appreciate. Through my bottom hole. No, not through your button. No, <laughs> my button. Your button. I love button. That's what it's uh, called, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Mike. What I'm going to do is drawing an Ames window. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now this is an Ames window. It's a trapezoid. Okay. Okay, but it's not yet complete. Did they not become extinct? Did what become extinct? Trapezoids when the when the comet hit the Earth. Are you thinking about a dinosaur? Yeah. Trapezoid is a shape. Okay. This is why I have to do this part of the show. Right, um, so what we need to do is we need to cut out um, some of the, the holes for the windows. Yeah. Okay. Now, I've given you a pair of science scissors. Science scissors. Science scissors. Now, yeah. be careful. Are you an adult? Barely. Barely. Okay. Um, what you need to do is I, I've marked on the bits you need to cut out. With, with those lines. three lines. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cut out those little squares. I will make the window. What now? Now. Oh. Yes. Okay. I've drawn lots of lines for you. This is very blue, Peter, Mike. This is very, this is very blue, Peter, you're right. Um, now, what this is going to give us is it's going to give us the actual Ames window itself. And this works on a, a principle of perspective. Do you know what perspective is, Lee? My perspective of this topic... No, no, perspective itself, what is it? Is it, if you're near, then I am far. Uh-huh. And that's it. Okay. Sort of. <laughs> In a way that you've got the first part of it. Um, so it's your brain actually working out distance. And it works that out by trying to work out if something is actually small or just far away. <laughs> so, for instance, if you're looking at a sheep far away, Mm -hmm. It's not small, it's just far away. It is. And you can tell when it's small or far away. 
um, okay. And how yeah. do we do that, Mike? How do we tell? How do we tell? How do you tell? Your brain does it, and it works on what you know and sizes. Okay, so a, <laughs> a large penis very close will look even bigger. Would it? Yes, and a large penis food from afar away, say, over, over a balcony and through two sets of windows with a pair of binoculars, would look a little bit smaller. And that is why you have the restraining order. You're right, it is. <laughs> and it's not just penises that would look smaller. What else would look smaller, Lee? Also vaginas. Vaginas would look smaller. And, and boobies. Boobies would look smaller or, or larger if they were closer to you. Yeah. Yeah. I think, though, Dolly Parton is the same size whether she's near or far. I think near, far, wherever you are, <laughs> um, Dolly Parton's boobs do go on. <laughs> um, I believe it's a song by Celine Dion. It is. Yes. Okay. Now, once you've cut those out, Lee, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to colour in the frames around the void. The void. The void. So we've created a void, and we're going to be colouring in these little bits on the void. Okay. Okay. Do I have to cut all of them out? You do have to cut okay. out all the windows, yes. I just saw yours there and you haven't cut all yours out, Mike. I haven't finished, no. Sorry, I didn't I want, I didn't, I didn't want to because question you're, the teacher. You're, you're much more accomplished at crafts than I am. I know. Um, because... It's in my blood. I, I was going to say I pay people to do this sort of stuff for me. Mm. Um, yeah. So I have cut out the, um, the voids. And cut out the voids and now choose a colour. I've given you some double-ended pens. Okay, so yes, double-ended. So which colour are you going to choose? Um, I'm going to go for pink, Mike, surprisingly. Go for pink, okay. So now on both sides you need to colour in the voids. In just pink? In, in just, just one colour? You can only use one colour. Which end, which end? Ooh. You're going to use the fat end or the thin end? That's a thin end. Mm-hmm. Fat end. Nobody ever died of a fat end. So I'm going to try that. I don't think you've tried hard enough if that's the case. <laughs> so I'm taking it for speed. Don't really want mega good colouring. We, we don't want... We, we need it to be block, so it needs to be exactly the same on both sides. Okay. So do try and keep in the lines. I've finished my colouring in my... I've almost finished. So, other thing you need to do is the front facing flap. Oh, okay. So yeah. On both sides? Yeah. I haven't finished then, have I? You've not. Have we, have we managed to colour in now, Lee? I sure have, Mike. Yes, lovely. Okay, now the first trick you can do is you can hold it against yourself. So if you look at me now, mm -hmm. which end is pointing towards the camera? The small end or the fat end? <laughs> I'm going to go with the fat end. Well, Damn. here's the interesting thing. It was the thin end. Oh my lord, I can't believe my eyes. Ooh. Now we can use this, okay, in a 3D way. I've given you some invisible wire. <gasps> can't see it, Mike. Where is it? Where is it going? <laughs> Okay, yeah. we've got some invisible wire and, and some adhesive gum. Oh, okay, we're not allowed to say what it's... And a bit tacky. Okay. And what you want to do is, each of your little ends, you want to pop a little bit of your tacky blue on, on, on your window. Don't you patronise me about my little ends. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pop your tacky blue on each of the corners. Oh, not on the, not on the wire. On, on the you know on the window and on the wire. On each corner of the window thing. Yeah. And on the wire. So you're going to attach the wire to the windowy thing. Okay. How? Huh? How? With the with the tacky blue stuff. Yeah, but in what what configuration? Oh, on 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 the corner. So the the highest points. So if you look here, we've got one one here. Yeah. And one here. So you're making like a, a handbag? You're making a handbag, exactly what you're making, yes. Okay. Just on two corners? Just on the two corners. There's a lot of string there for... There is, but you can, you can hold it midway through. 
Okay, right, I've done that. Okay. Now when you hold it up, you just want to give it a little twist. So it starts to spin. And what you'll see happening is although you're spinning it in a rotational way, it will look like it's going backwards and forwards. I dropped it. You did, so you'll have to reattach it. So if we look, it looks like it's just going side to side rather than in a circle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that clever? It's marvellous. Because that's it? your brain saying that everything big must be near you and everything small must be far away. Real general rule to life, though. General it? rule. It, it's, yeah, that's how it works. You can have more fun. More fun? I've given you a little person Where? on your table. Would you like to name your gnome? Bernard. Bernard? Mm. Not Bernard. No, Bernard. Bernard. Keeping it real. Okay. Now, if you attach uh, Bernard through your window, okay, like so, using some more of your tacky blue. What has he got to? Do? What has he got to do? So you're going to be sticking Bernard on the window. Okay. Like that. Okay. Right. So he stood on the end. Yeah. On the corner. Okay. Yeah. So that when you spin it, it will do a different illusion. Well, it won't because the, the card's too soggy. <laughs> so Bernard's too heavy. So just use one of your double-ended pens instead. Get a double-ended pen. I've ripped it now, my. Well, that's torn it. I've ripped, oh, not all the way through. Sorry. I still might be so salvaged, this amazing feat of television. Okay. There we go. Oh, spot. Cheap card. Right. So now when you spin it, it should look like the um, pen. <laughs> oh. It's all gone wrong, Mike. It has all gone a bit wrong, hasn't it? But that's what happens, because that's science, that is. And it's not always good. That science, that is. She mind's still working. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we will see you all soon. Bye. I can't believe you broke it. What a pile of shit.